Time Tracking and Add Task, IST Implementation and Training, County of Marin. Three types of time are tracked in Add Task. Project time for current project tasks and issues, admin time for non-project meetings, email, and paperwork, or operational time for time spent supporting existing systems or operations. Time can be entered in several places in App Task, the Timesheet tab, the Working On tab, or directly on the project task or issue. Log in to Add Task. Before beginning, make sure you've accepted all of your work assignments so you will have them on your timesheet and in your Working On tab. To do this, navigate to My Work, navigate to the Work Requests folder, click Work On It to accept a task. Note that at the start of the fiscal year, you'll want to accept any operational and admin time tracking tasks. Click Work On It to add the item to your Working On tab as well as your timesheet. Let's get started by entering admin time in the timesheet. Navigate to the timesheet tab. Locate the task called admin work. Click on the drop down box to the right and select the type of time, meeting or training, or select task for any email paperwork. Use the arrow on the calendar to go back to a prior week for this timesheet. For admin work, I'm going to enter task hours in the date boxes for time spent emailing and doing paperwork. Click the icon next to the type of time to add another type of time for the same day. I'll select meeting and enter two hours for a staff meeting. Click the orange triangle on the date box and enter comments. Operational time is time spent supporting or maintaining existing systems. These are not new projects. Let's go back to the timesheet to enter operational time. Locate the operational and admin time tracking item. It is broken down into tasks representing the department's IST supports. In this example, you see a few operational work tasks for specific departments. If the operational work you support is not listed on your timesheet because it's not specifically assigned to you, you can retrieve it by clicking on the parent task, operational and admin time tracking. If you have unsaved changes, you will be prompted to save them before exiting. Click cancel from this dialog box, click save for later, and then go back up to the operational and admin time tracking item and click on it. A list of tasks will open in a separate work area. Look for the task that is the best fit for the support you provide. I'm looking for Operational Work Civil Grand Jury. Click on the task name when you find it. For that task, navigate to its Updates tab and then click Log Time. Select the hour type and enter hours in the date boxes. Click Log Time to save your changes. And if you navigate back over to the Timesheet tab, you will see that operational work item has been added to your timesheet. Here it is, Operational Work Civil Grand Jury. This item will remain on the timesheet until the end of this timesheet period. To pin an item permanently to your timesheet, hover to the left of the item name until the thumbtack icon appears and click on it. To remove a permanent item from your timesheet, click on the thumbtack icon and this item will be removed from future timesheets. Note, if you didn't find a task for the operational support you provide, 
please check with the PMO to see if it should be added. In the meantime, you can enter those hours on the task named Operational Work Other. Project Time. Entering project time in the timesheet. Now, locate a project task or issue on the timesheet and enter hours as demonstrated previously. To add an item to your timesheet, go to the upper left work area and click Add. Select Project, Task, or Issue from the drop-down. Enter the search term and click Search. Select the item from the list by clicking the Add icon on the left. I'll select IST Panea. Click Save and you'll see it on your timesheet. Here it is. I'm going to click the drop down and select Project Time and log some hours for this item. Notice the orange callout buttons on your timesheet. Click on the orange callout to edit the condition, the status, the start date, add an update. This status is visible in many areas of at task. Click update to save it and to save your timesheet, click save for later. Let's look at how to reopen a closed timesheet. If you select Save and Close Timesheet rather than Save for Later, you will not be able to edit your closed timesheet. If the closed timesheet is showing in the Timesheet tab, go to the bottom and click Reopen. The timesheet is now open and can be edited. Click Save for later when finished. If your timesheet is not visible in the Timesheet tab, go to the upper left and click Back to Timesheets. Only open timesheets are displayed in this view because the filter is set to active. Change the filter on the upper right work area to All and closed timesheets will be listed as well. Click on the closed timesheet you wish to open and it will display in the Timesheet tab. Go to the bottom and click Reopen. The timesheet is now open and can be edited. Click Save for later when finished. Entering time in the Working On tab. In addition to entering time in the timesheet, you can also log time in the Working On tab. Let's navigate to My Work and then select the Working On folder. Here you will find listed all active projects, tasks, or issues which are assigned to you to work on. Click on an item to make it active. To enter time, click Log Time. Select the type of hours by clicking the Enter Hours drop-down. Log hours in the date boxes as seen previously. I worked on an issue, so I'll enter some issue time. I also attended a meeting regarding this issue, so I will enter an hour of meeting time as well. Click Log Time to save your changes. Any time logged here will be visible on the timesheet as well. The third and final way we're going to log time is directly on the project task or issue. As mentioned before, work assigned to you will be listed on your My Work tab and on your timesheet. However, there may be times when you will need to log time to an item no longer active or an item you're working on but are not assigned to an at task. Go to the Setup drop-down box which you can access on the navigation bar for most areas of at task. Here you can select a search for a project, task, or issue. I'll select Project. Type the search string and notice recently viewed matches are suggested or click the search icon for a complete list of matches. Locate the item you want to log time to and click on it. 
navigate to the Items Updates tab, and click Log Time. Select the hour type and enter hours for this project in the date boxes, as shown previously. Click Log Time to save your changes. Notice from here you can navigate to tasks or issues for this project where you can also enter time. For now, let's continue searching for tasks and issues using the setup box. I'm going to select issue and type in a search string. Select the issue from the list. Navigate to its Updates tab and click Log Time. Select the hour type and enter hours for this issue in the date boxes. Click Log Time to save your changes. Project managers have an additional tab on their navigation bar called Projects, which they can use to locate projects instead of the Setup box. Project Managers will select the Projects tab, choose from folders named Projects I Own, Projects I'm On, or All Projects. Locate and click on the desired project and navigate to the Updates tab. Select Log Time to enter hours. From here, you can navigate to the Tasks tab or Issues tab for this project to log hours to tasks or issues. I'll go to Tasks and select a task for this project. From the Task Updates tab, click Log Time and enter hours. This process is the same for logging time on issues. Let's summarize and wrap up. Time can be logged in the Timesheet tab, in the Working On tab, directly on a project, task, or issue. Three time categories are tracked. Project time, operational time, and admin time. This concludes at-task time tracking training. Thank you for watching.